Hi guys, welcome to Jenny's Crafts. I just got in the new Cricut Light cartridge Beep Beep. I am so excited to have this cartridge and to be playing with it. I just love the designs that are on this cartridge. Just look at all those really neat um, designs. Tractors and cars and trains. It's just amazing. I have a couple little boys so this cartridge is going to be awesome to be making some different um, cards with our scrapbook pages. I'm I'm really excited. Here's the card that we're going to be making today. Um, beep beep. Cool ride. I love it. And it's on a uh, homemade action wobble. So I'm going to show this whole card from start to finish. Uh, I tried to include um, actually cutting it out um, on the Cricut, but unfortunately I ran the video a little too long and there's no way I'm going to be able to get it onto YouTube. So I'll just go over it real quick. I cut the car out at two and three fourths inches and the sign at one and three fourths inches. So um, those are the dimensions on that. So and then everything else will be shown in the video exactly all the dimensions of all the other parts. But I just wanted to go over that real quick since that won't how I cut it out won't be included um, in this video. So um, enjoy and thanks for watching and let's get started. There's your sign. So we have our car and we have our sign. So we'll put them aside. Or actually, you know what, with the car, I think we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment on here. So, just ink. And I'm going to be using um, one of my new stamps from uh, ClaireDollarStamps.com. I love these stamps. This is the new way I'm storing my stamps as of today, actually. I went and got the supplies to make my own homemade clip it up. Um, so I just realized that I was getting way too many stamps to start to keep uh, storing them in the CD cases. So the CD cases worked for a while, but it's no longer no longer working for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink that up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stamp Cool Ride. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're done with our car for now. Glue on my fingers, so, okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I'm going to cut that down to six by 12. So that's going to be the base of the card. I tend to make kind of big cards. Um, so. Okay. So what we're going to do is just fold this in half. I'm going to use the, my bone folder and just give that a good crease. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is take this striped piece of paper and I'm going to cut this down to five and a half by five and a half. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to adhere that yet, so I'm just going to set that aside. What I'm going to do is take another white piece of paper, and I forgot to measure that, so let's see how, how long that is. I think that's three by... Let's do that three by five and a, five and a half. We're going to go five and a half by three. Okay. And then we are going to get the cuddle bug out. Open that up. Sorry about my reach. I tried to make sure I had most all my supplies. 
have laid out ahead of time because usually I'm scrambling to find all my supplies because I don't remember where I put them. Get that in there even. Okay. Then we've got our A plate, our B, then our embossing folder with our paper in it, and then another B plate. And we're just going to run that through the cuddle bug. I'm going to run it through twice. There we go. Okay. And we're going to take that out of our folder. I don't like that little edge there that it didn't get embossed because the folder's not quite long enough. So I'm going to just trim that edge off. There we go. And the next thing to give it that little blue um, on the raised dots is I just took some color box pigment ink and my Tim Holtz blending tool and I'm just going to go right over the top of the dots. You can ink your folders and just do it that way. I just don't want to mess with cleaning my folders, so I'm just going to do it this way, just because I'm doing one little tiny piece. And you could do that as light or as dark as you want to go. And I kind of like that look. wipe off my mat just so I don't get any of the ink on anything else that we're working with. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my ATG gun and adhere the whole entire back piece. Um, I could run this through my Xyron machine if I just wanted to make it a little bit easier, but my ATG is here, so I'm going to use this. The reason why I'm putting a lot of adhesive on is I don't want the embossed piece to pop off my card. I'm just going to make sure there's no adhesive hanging off the edge. And then I'm just going to adhere it to the bottom of the card. And press down. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to take some blue ribbon and run that across the top to separate the two pieces of paper. going to do is just take another piece and just tie a simple knot. I am not very good with bows at all. So I really like tying the knot. I think it gives it a, a neat look without being too complicated. And then just clip off the tails. Here, I'll get out my little scissors. That one didn't get at an angle. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to take this and adhere that to our white card stock. Just kind of eyeball that and center that. Oh, make sure my card's opening the right way. And then press that down. Now what I did with the other card is I took, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Huh. I forgot. Oh, well, I've done this before. This is the easy way to do with ATG. What I love about it is you can just rub it right off and then you can't even tell that you huh, screwed it up. So I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole in the corner. Bring that 
and run my bread through there. And then just fold over the tip of the corner. Like Like that. Now to make sure that stays down, I'm going to use a glue dot. So I don't want that popping up on me. So I'm just going to push that under there and adhere that down. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take my car and I'm going to add some pop dots to the back of that. Now, right up there that piece is too tiny for my pop dots, pop dots so I'm just going to cut them in half and adhere one. There we go. Here, hear that down. We'll find it. Together, what are we waiting for? Now, let's see. 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 let action wobble. So I'm just going to take a pen and wrap it around there a couple times and cut the wire. Take a pop. Now we're just going to adhere the wire to the wobble. And then We're just going to attach our wobble. To our sign. Where is our sign? Here it is. Oh, I love it. Cool. Okay. So we've got that part done so far and what I'm going to do is take my ink and just ink the edges because I didn't like the, the white. I thought it looked too plain. I needed a little something more. Okay, there we go. We've got our card and that's our beep beep card. So here is version one and version two. Now this one I did put some stickles on the headlights and some stickles up here on the sign. You can certainly add um, some different bling to it if you like, but what a cute little card that makes for, for a, a little guy or, you know, so I'm excited. So well, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.